Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. As always, I'm so happy to have you here. So happy to do this for you guys. This is going to be a collective reading for all signs, okay? So Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome, you guys. Um, it is a timeless reading as well. You guys, thank you so, so much for all of your likes, your shares, your subscribes, all of your support. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm sending all of the gratitude to you guys as always. Love and light to you guys. Um, you guys, I don't know what is going on. I just, I'm picking up. It's like some, <sighs> I just keep hearing like somebody trying to get in the way of something or somebody trying to block something. I'm picking up on like that sabotage type of energy, you guys heavy. I'm going to go ahead and tap into this reading. You guys, please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not, please leave it. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, or your future. Um, it can be for masculine, feminine, he, she, him, her, people, places, things. Please remember to take what fits and leave the rest. You guys, divine feminine, divine masculine, let's tap into this reading and see what is going on here. Spirit, please give us a clear message for the collective message that turned over a message and a thief. Okay. Hmm. And change, right? Chow, what is going on here? Those cards just flipped over right away. I took the first three. We got somebody, a message is coming in, and then I'm seeing thief, someone dishonest, someone trying to take something and change, right? So there's somebody trying to steal something. They're trying to change something that's happening or that's happened is what I'm getting. There's a message coming in or they're messaging someone. Yes, yeah, Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more. It's like somebody is trying to change what already is or something like that, right? Secret sneaky energy. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Oh, what is this? Okay, somebody's on a journey. Hmm. Why is Journey showing up, Spirit? Why is Journey showing up? Please give us more. Oh, okay. <sighs> journey pathway. Ah. Journey and pathway. Spirit, please give us more. Family room. Somebody is trying to message someone, trying to talk to them, trying to stop something from happening is what I'm getting. Yeah. There is like something going on in secret, right? Somebody is sneaking, trying to stop something from happening. So it's like this is you're on a path to something. You're on your journey to something. Oh, okay. And then I'm hearing the birds, right? A lot of gossip, right? Somebody's watching. I'm getting gossipy watching energy. Birds on a wire. Spirit, please give us more. Yeah, there's definitely something hidden here. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Please give us more. It's like somebody's on their path, but they're trying to stop your journey or what's going on. They're trying to change something with you. Chow. They're trying to change. They're this is somebody trying to steal happiness, trying to steal, trying to sabotage a connection. This is someone trying to sabotage a connection, a courtship, right? But I feel like this person is on their own journey. This is a past energy, right? This is someone, I'm picking up on someone, divine feminine, divine masculine. This is like a third party or an ex-third party that's trying to like sabotage your connection, 
your destiny. Yeah, Spirit, please give us more. Yeah, there's a destined connection here. This You're destined to be with someone, right? Or you're destined to reconcile with someone is what I'm getting. There's a reconciliation here. Or either you've already reconciled. I'm getting official person, right? Official person. Why is official person here, Spirit? Hmm. Why that card fly out like that? Okay, so someone's coming back towards you, Divine Feminine, or either this is someone that you are currently reconciling with or you will be reconciling with this person is what I'm getting, okay? This is someone that wants a future with you. I'm seeing with the anchor here, this is someone that wants a commitment, right? A long-term commitment with you. Could be engagement, could be marriage, right? There's, and I'm seeing official person. So this could definitely be marriage. Somebody wants to court you. Somebody wants to date you. They want to treat you right, okay? They want to be very traditional. I'm getting the Hierophant energy, okay? Someone that's very commitment-minded, that's coming back towards you, or either you're currently working on this. You're currently in the energy of reconciling with someone, okay? Okay. There is someone from the past that's trying to sabotage this. But this connection between you and this person is already destined, right? This is a twin flame journey. I'm seeing journey here, right? So this is your, this is your, um, your, like your, you have a soul contract, right? You, there's, This is a destined connection. This is like divine intervention, right? So I'm picking up on timing, right? Um, this person could have been um, on a, um, you could have come, you guys could have been in a twin flame separation is what I'm getting, right? And you guys are reconciling, you're coming back. This person was in a karmic cycle, possibly with this third party, right? But I feel like you guys, if you're, if this hasn't happened, this is what's going to happen. Like you're going to be reconciling with this person. But I'm seeing this third party energy still trying to sabotage this connection. But I feel like this third party is already on another path. So it's as if this third party is in another connection. That's what I'm picking up on. So it wouldn't seem like this third party's trying to cause any issues, but they are. This third party is in a union with someone else is what I'm picking up on. Take it how it resonates, you guys. But they're still concerned about this masculine and what's going on with you and this masculine, right? What'd I say? Concern. Uh-huh. They're still concerned about what's going on here, right? But I'm picking up on karma, right? Yeah, there's like, there's karma here, okay? Because I feel like they're trying to secretly sabotage. I'm seeing messages. I'm picking up on gossip. I heard the birds, right? A lot of gossipy watching, um, stalking. They, they're watching your social media, this, this third party. And they're in another union, but the thing of it is, I feel like they're trying to plant seeds of doubt. They could still be trying to secretly message this divine masculine is what I'm getting. Spirit, please give us more because they know that this is your, you, this is your divine counterpart, right? Look, I'm saying, what? Their concern, poverty, what is going on here? Spirit, please give us more. Poverty and imprisonment, concern. There's something to do with money. It could be something to do with money. Or this could be spiritual poverty that this person's in and acting out of the very diabolical energy. Definitely in their own head with this imprisonment. Spirit, please give us more. Yeah, overthinking things is what I'm getting. Oh, I feel like, look, 
I see a reconciliation coming or it's already happening, right? You guys are working on it. You guys are talking about it, right? Um, Gemini energy on the board here, okay? So I feel like this person is definitely trying to block this connection, but they're in a union. That's what's getting me, right? Spirit, please give us more. So it doesn't seem like it. It's like it, it appears that this person has moved on. This third party feminine, it, lo it appears that they've moved on to the community, to everyone else. But they are still very much, they are still very much concerned about this masculine and you and this masculine moving forward with you. Sudden well. I feel like this masculine wants to spoil you. This masculine definitely knows how to treat a person is what I'm getting. Something to do with house. You guys could be getting a house together. Maybe this masculine wants to buy you a house. Something to do with sudden well. Somebody could be coming to your house. Spirit, why is that here? Because I'm seeing sudden wealth and then I'm seeing house. So there could be... This masculine could be coming into an inheritance and getting ready to buy a house, right? It could be this masculine that's coming into money and they're also, they're coming towards you. They want a commitment with you. I feel like they're um, very financially stable. And I feel like this, ooh, this third party is pissed about that too. That's for some of you guys, not all of you guys, right? Because you're the main female in this person's life now, right? Uh-huh. Spirit, please give us more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seeing you guys happy together is their karma. I feel like this person caused a lot of problems in the past with you guys, but it looks like they've moved on and they haven't. Look, right? They're working hard. They're working hard. Watching 12-12 on the timer. Twin Flame, listen, you guys, make sure that you're paying attention to those signs and synchronicities because I just seen one there. That's 12 12 on the timer. 10 10 11 11. Mm hmm. 222 333 555. Spirit, please give us more. Pay attention to those angel numbers. Yeah. What else we got here? Look, great fortune. This masculine. Mm hmm. Looks like a catch here, right? And this karmic is jealous. And that's their karma. Look, I'm at spiritual bad health, right? Yeah, this third party is sick. They are sick about this, right? Mm -hmm. Look, community. Hard work, right? I'm th There's a lot of gossip going on here. A lot of gossip, right? This person's working overtime, right? I'm saying they're in despair. They are in despair, but they're in another union. I keep picking up on this energy. They're in another union with someone, right? But they're still concerned about what this masculine is doing. And it's like, they've moved on. This masculine has moved on. Yeah. This masculine's moved on with their divine counterpart, which is divine feminine. That's you. Or they are. There's a reconciliation here, right? But there's something being, there's things being revealed, right? Mature woman. I feel like that speaks to your energy, divine feminine, right? A lot of spiritual maturity is what I'm getting here. Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more. Yeah. Yeah. Something to do with a decision. I'm seeing a decision and a gift, right? They see that you've decided to come to... They see that this masculine has decided to come to Divine Feminine. And they're jealous because this person that they're with is nothing like this masculine, right? This Divine Masculine that's with Divine Feminine are coming towards Divine Feminine. That's first. What else we got here, right? Uh-huh. I feel like 
there's a lot of gossip going on. I feel like um, just to see you happy is driving them crazy. Like, it's like they're unhinged, right? It's like they're just like, um, they're losing it, right? Yeah. They tried to plant those seeds of doubt is what I'm getting. Seeds of doubt. I keep hearing that, right? Mm-hmm. May male. Yep, they tried to plant seeds of doubt. This person could have spread rumors about you, Divine Feminine. They could have spread rumors about you. Uh-huh. Because they know that this masculine is... They constantly think about you. Even when you, they were with this third party, this masculine consistently thought about you, Divine Feminine. Ooh, what else we got? I'm getting gaslighting, scapegoating. Yeah. I feel like this masculine seen through all of this stuff when they were with this third party. They are sick about this, right? Spirit, please give us more. They're sick because this masculine brought this to an end with them. So um, if you're not in reconciliation, you will be because I'm seeing here something coming to an end, a new beginning. We have Scorpio energy on the board. Spirit, please give us more. Mm -hmm. But it looks like this, this third party, this ex third party has moved on, but they're still working behind the scenes. Like gossiping, trying to plant seeds of doubt. That's what I'm picking up on. And I feel like they're either they're going to try and reach out to this divine masculine. Something to do with unexpected income. I feel like they want money from this divine masculine. Ciao. And this over. Oh, it's over. Spirit, please give us more. And it's like this is their karma. This is this third party's karma because for some of you guys, this third party could have been the reason why you guys were apart. Uh-huh. And the thing of it is, you guys were destined to be together. So this person tried to stand in the way of your destiny, of being with your divine counterpart. So they're getting karma for that. And it's like the karma is watching you guys be happy, but there's something going on with this person that they're with as well. That's their karma, y'all. Spirit, please give us more. Uh-huh. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Yeah. There's a lot of things being revealed. I'm getting a lot of things being illuminated here wealthy man there is something about money they're like trying to send them a message of concern this they're no longer this masculine's concern i don't know why they keep trying to reach out to this masculine i keep picking up on this energy like they keep trying to reach out to this masculine for like money or to help them with stuff like they're in union with someone else and this masculine has moved on so you know they're trying to work things out with divine feminine or they're planning on coming towards divine feminine divine feminine is the privileged lady this this third party they can't let go of the idea that they're not the privileged lady and they're in union with someone, child, there is something going on here with this person. I feel like their karma is seeing this masculine, this divine masculine happy with divine feminine. <sighs> false person. This masculine that they're with, whomever they've moved on with is a false person. Mm-hmm. What else we got, spirit? Oh, child. A false person, right? I feel like this is someone that they thought was stable. I'm seeing mature man. Mm-hmm. Somebody they thought that they were going to um, marry, maybe take care of them, or something like that I'm picking up on, right? Something to do with courthouse. It was a false person. Yeah. They still hold divine masculine in high regard, right? And they have expectations for divine masculine. This is... not they're acting like they expect divine masculine to help them is the energy that I'm picking up on or like 
it's almost like they're delusional. They don't realize this is, they're already in union with someone else. This masculine is coming back to divine feminine or already working on things with divine feminine. And they keep sending messages of concern to them. <sighs> Immature energy, right? I'm seeing child, look, I'm seeing immature energy is what I'm getting from that, right? Divine Masculine huh, is working on things or coming back towards Divine Feminine, their Divine Counterpart, right? This is a false person, that's their karma. This third party is in a union with a false person, right? This is someone that may have made them think that they were, you know, a divine masculine they thought that they were like divine masculine and this person was wearing a mask this person could have taken from this third party financially could have took money from them i'm getting the tables are turning the karma is turning back on this third party everything that they were doing all the seeds of doubt that they were planting It's coming back with this person that they're with. Child, they under heavy judgment, y'all. They are under heavy judgment. That's what I'm getting. I feel like this extra party is like obsessed, right? So they keep talking about you to their friends. They keep talking about divine masculine to their friends, right? It's like in the things that they're doing, the stalking, the social media, different accounts. I feel like even the people closest to, the, closest to them are looking at them strange. They may be losing friends because it's like this person is unhinged, right? Uh-huh. Sarah, please give us a clear message. Please give us a clear message for the collective regarding this reading. Yeah, people are starting to think that this third party is a little um, strange. I'm getting that they may even be like um, some type of isolation or something like that I'm picking up on. Or like friends are like pulling out. Yeah. Chow. This is something else, right? They knew the whole time this person belonged to you, Divine Feminine. Ooh, chow. Sarah, please give us more for the collective. Now they're getting their karma, right? They're under judgment. They are under judgment. It's like stuff is falling apart. I feel like there's a potential tower moment with this person that they're with. <sighs> Queen of Cups. That masculine, Divine Masculine came back for their happily ever after with the queen of wands or is coming back for their happily ever after because they want that love from divine feminine, right? Because nobody loves on them like divine feminine. Mm -mm, queen of cups energy, that's that nurturing, loving energy. Look, happily ever after. That's what they're coming for, look. Or either they're already working on it. You guys could just start, have just started talking again after a no contact, right? Uh-huh, you could have broke the no contact, start talking again, start communicating again, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this, this ex-third party is, look, deceptive. Thief. Something to do with thief. But I feel like they could have done this to Divine Masculine, something to do with thief, something about money. But I feel like they're in a situation now with a masculine that's taken from them and has them in a third party situation. It's like the tables have turned. Oh, and this masculine, they just want their divine feminine to love on them. They ain't thinking about this, this third party, but I feel like this third party keeps trying to reach out to them, right? Messaging them or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I need this or I need that, or can you help me with this or, um, I need some money, I'm hearing, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. I feel like this masculine is giving up the battle. Like, it's like they're walking away from this. Uh-uh. They're, they're not having this. 
No. This is karmic justice happening to the third party, this ex third party, right? And it's like they're delusional because they keep reaching out to this masculine and it's over, child. Spirit, please give us more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is over, right? I'm picking up on some type of um, humiliation too, right? I feel like there could be some type of humiliation going on with regards to this uh, situation with this ex-third party and the masculine that they're with. They could be embarrassing them or they could be embarrassed because community came out. They could be embarrassed in front of the whole community, right? Mm-hmm. Look, coming back towards you, bringing that ace, that wand. They bringing that wand back <laughs> or that wop. I'm just saying, like, they bringing that back. Yeah, ace of wands, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, taking action, starting a new beginning. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, look at that. What did I just say? We got the king of cups and we got the queen of cups. This is a match. Look, this masculine is in love with you, not this third party. And they keep sending them messages of concern. Look, that's over. I'm seeing a difficult ending coming to an end. They are out in the cold. I can't make this up. And there's an abundant new beginning with you. Uh-huh. Divine feminine. Yes, it is. Look. Ooh. Yeah, they're willing to put in the work to get back on track with you. Look at this. Look, I can't make it up. A divine union. This is all happening in divine timing, right? Mm-hmm. You are their divine counterpart. Twin flame activation. Yes. Yep. And I feel like everybody's talking about this situation. I feel, didn't I pick up on the gossip, right? I feel like there's a lot of gossip. I feel like this third party was using this gossip and gaslighting, scapegoating, trying to plant seeds of doubt in the relationship with you and Divine Masculine. But now the whole community is gossiping on them. Everything is turning, right? The tables are turning. Chow. I'm telling you, it's like this. They're playing victim. This this third party, this ex-third party was trying to play victim. <sighs> Chow. You tame them. Leo energy on the board. They're coming back towards you. Uh-huh. Yeah, look at this. Strategic plan and coming back towards you, wanting to build a future with you. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This ex third party's big mad. Look at that. We got the Ten of Pentacles and we got the Ace of Cups. They want a new loving beginning. And we already got the Ace of Pentacles here too. This person's coming back to spoil you. That's their karma. Watching you guys together. Watching you guys together. Divine Feminine. This ex third party is sick. Oh, I'm telling you what, but you're about to be so happy. Look at that. You are about to be so happy. So again, either you're starting um, to talk, you know, um, breaking the no contact, breaking the ice, um, talking about a reconciliation, or either you're already in reconciliation. And this is the card you want to see. Now, you know, this card can mean pregnancy or, you know, um, childbirth, things like that also. So I just like to put that caveat out there. You know, um, please take it how it resonates. That's not for everybody. But this is also a cup running over. Lots of love. And then look at that. With the Ten of Pentacles. Love and spoiling you. Flowers, cards, and candy. I'm fortunate to have you. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. This is a very magical time. For this love, a very magical, very mystical time is what I'm getting, right? Yeah, but they manipulated people. This third party in the past definitely manipulated people, played victim. Meanwhile, this was a whole narcissistic type of situation. They were gaslighting, planting the seeds of doubt. Again, they were like, you know, um, scapegoating and just being very manipulative and playing victim had everybody thinking that, you know, divine feminine was a bad person and so forth and so on. And now it's all coming out. I'm telling you, they're like friends and things like that are starting to back away from them. 
because they're seeing their true colors. This masculine, this divine masculine, they've seen the true colors and I feel like everybody around them is starting to see just how toxic they are. And that's part of their karma as well. Like all of the tables are turning on this person. Look at this. Hey, a love offer coming in, y'all. Heavy karma. Heavy karma for them, right? But they manipulated people. They definitely manipulated people um, to look at you a different way. They could have even manipulated people to come after you. Ciao. This person is very toxic, right? But it's, look, well, they're getting heavy karma now. I can tell you that. Heavy karma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're living with they try to make happen for divine feminine they're living that now that's their reality it's not an illusion it's definitely a reality right and everybody is awakened everybody is it's being illuminated right it's being illuminated how this person truly is right it's all coming to light yep no more hidden truth, right? No more hiding behind playing victim and stuff like that. People are seeing this person for who they truly are. A lot of things are being revealed, right? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of romance though. Mm -hmm. Fears and worries with this divine masculine. If they haven't come towards you already, there could be some fears and worries that you may not be receptive to their offer their love offer because i see the page of cups so things could be moving slow because they don't want to ruin the one chance they feel like that they have to get things right with you mm -hmm. but you guys have traveled through many lifetimes right this is a divine connection you guys have traveled through many lifetimes together okay trying to get it right you guys are getting it right here but this X third party tried to stand in the way of this destiny, this destined connection that you guys share. Yep. This is a whole stalker. This person, I'm telling you, it's like copycat trying to be you. This person could actually dress like you, um, try and talk like you, maybe wear their hair like you, even their makeup. This part, why well, just here? This person could have tried to get a car like you. Mm. Yeah. I'm picking up on unhinged energy here. Yeah, with this this extra party. And this whole situation with the person that they're with, this masculine, that's a whole toxic situation. I feel like that masculine has them in a third party situation. I feel like that masculine sees that this person's unhinged as well. But I feel like they're, they've taken from them theft, something like that, money, chow. Mm-hmm. This is all backfiring on this third party. When it's something that's destined, you can't stand in the way of someone's destiny. There's a whole God complex here. It's a, this person is delusional because they feel as though they can stop someone's destiny. Oh, man. It's like an overinflated sense of self. I don't know what chow what else we got here twin flames right mm-hmm yeah that's what i'm picking up on that twin flame energy right this third party trying to come in the middle of it but the tables have definitely turned on this situation y'all mm-hmm karma is coming in right <sighs> they could have caught this masculine or could be catching this masculine that they're with with someone else too look oh king of pentacles Ooh, they mad they mad look at what they lost but you know the thing of it is they couldn't have kept this masculine if they tried because again this is all divine timing this is all predestined this is destiny right the your divine counterparts they couldn't have kept this masculine if they tried. This masculine was always yours, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this masculine is definitely one that set the record straight. Make things right. Okay? Apologizing for any part that they caused. And they want a new beginning. There's a full part there, right? Starting a new beginning. Forgetting about the past is what I'm getting from that, right? Mm-hmm. 
and getting away from any of this negative energy, this low vibrational energy. Okay. Yeah. What else we got, spirit? Mm-hmm. Wow. I feel like there is like so, so much chaos and conflict going on with this third party. Child, so much just chaos, conflict, arguments, and just, oh my goodness, just lies, and I feel like there's even some spell work going on here, mm-hmm, I feel like they're, they're, they're trying to grab at anything, they're trying to grab at anything because they're in heavy judgment right now, and they're trying to change that. They're trying to stop the judgment. They can't stop it. This person really has a God complex, right? They feel like they can stop people's destiny. They feel like they can stop karma. They feel like they can stop their karmic justice. Um, they feel like they can control everything. This person feels like they're the divine. Woo, chow. Mm, 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 mm. Balance. Everything's coming into balance. Everything's fitting in where it needs to be, right? Things are falling into place. All the pieces are coming together with Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Sagittarius energy on the board, y'all. Yeah, this is beautiful energy, right? Beautiful energy, okay? I feel like, again, you know, for any hurt or hurting you, I feel like this Divine Masculine definitely wants to apologize, but they've made up their mind. They're coming towards you, okay? Yeah, I feel like everybody's like, you know, what's the issue with this third party? Even the people that are closest to them, right? Mm-hmm. And they definitely tried to interfere in this reconciliation with you guys, right? They tried to stop that. Mm, 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 mm. They tried to secretly sabotage. This person's very manipulative, right? I feel like a lot of people are shocked It's just how manipulative this person is. A lot of people feel bad because they went for their games them playing victim, they're scapegoating people. Oh, I feel like you you may be getting apologies from people, right? Mm-hmm. Even other than um, divine masculine. Chow. Yep. Yeah, they didn't stand a chance. Again, I'm getting that this masculine was always yours. They could have never kept you guys apart. You guys are divine counterparts, okay? They could have never stopped this, right? They could have never stood in the way of this connection. And again, it's destiny, right? It's destiny. Yeah. They tried to convince this masculine of things about you. Just the this divine masculine seen through it, right? Period. This this divine masculine seen through it. Spirit, please give us a few more for the collective. Oh, thank you. Look at this. Oh. oh, wow. I'm seeing past life connection, nostalgic for you. Tower came in reverse, you guys. You... I feel like this separation that you guys were in, you actually avoided a crisis is what I'm getting. So there was growth that was needed. There was some type of crisis that you avoided with the tower in reverse, right? Yeah. And I feel like this, look, they are heavy in their head right now. That's just this third party's energy, right? They're in their head right now, right? Overthinking things, right? Mm-hmm. Chow, this is something else, right? You guys, this is your person. No one can stand in the way of your destiny or your connection, the destiny your of your connection. <sighs> Leo energy on the board. You tame this person. Taurus energy on the board. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look, what just came out, right? 
unbridled joy and happiness and then behind it i'm seeing conflict yeah this is unhinged third party in the background right but i do see unbridled joy and happiness for you guys ahead yeah i, I wow i feel like this is You have the key to this person's heart, right? You definitely have the key to this person's heart. Divine feminine love manifesting you. This person is manifesting you, right? You have everything that they want and need. All of this confusion with this person. Oh my goodness, right? Karmic justice. I'm telling you what. You guys, I'm going to leave this reading here. This was a really beautiful reading for you guys. And again, I'm seeing the sun shining on your union. You guys, I'm going to leave it here until next time. You guys take care and I will see you for your next reading. Love you. Bye.